I've been in this swamp for three quarters of a century, and my eyes have seen what no other generation will probably ever see. The discovery of this orchid that's been here for centuries and never been documented on private land in Henry County is extremely special. As we entered the headwaters of the Kissimmee Billy Swamp and we waded into this very mysterious and majestic location, we walked by 500-year-old cypress trees as well. Here before the Spaniards landed and America was formed. Oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, a clamshell orchid. And the beautiful, majestic, and mysterious headwaters of the Kissimmee Billy Strand. This orchid, although it's called the clamshell, some people call it the octopus orchid because it's shaped like an octopus and it's got these long tentacles and leaves and it's just magical. The clamshell orchids grow on about four different types of trees in the swamps, the buttonwood, the cypress, the live oak, and the pop ash. And this is a pop ash tree. And what happens is when they like the spot, they grow onto the tree and they have these white aerial roots that just grab the tree and you can see them growing all the way down here. That's what attaches this orchid to the tree. The clamshell orchid, one of the jewels of Florida, a beautiful orchid species that's a state endangered flower. It's absolutely stunning to look at. These plants have been poached over past generations. The thing that makes this orchid so special is the fact that it's found throughout jungles and rainforests across South America and Central America and the Caribbean, but it exists in South Florida as well. This is um, an orchid that is actually the national orchid of Belize. And in Belize, the color of the orchid is much darker, so they call it the black orchid. Here it's much lighter, it's purple, light green, yellow. It's just absolutely magnificent. And when I see something like this, I can't help but think, what if we never ever saw it? What if I never see it again? That is what we need to do to conserve this amazing orchid. The really important thing about biodiversity is the fact that we're losing it at such an alarming rate. In order to make discoveries, we have to continue to find things in places like this in order to protect them. Uh, it would be a shame if something like this would be destroyed before it were ever found. It has a real sense of wildness to it. This clamshell orchid exists in a swamp that is just an hour and a half away from a city with millions of people. As a matter of fact, the Everglades is surrounded by nine million people. The fact that this orchid continues to thrive here year after year, decade after decade, is an example of how nature will always prevail if we allow it to. Documenting this orchid is important because we hope to inspire people and show them that there are these spectacular things still in existence. Finding this beautiful clamshell orchid in the beautiful swamps in the Everglades out here is an example of God's creation and the beauty of the Everglades. You know, raised in the beautiful Everglades all my life, and have spent nearly all my life saving the Everglades, one of the natural wonders of the world. And owning this majestic and mysterious swamp and having the ability to protect it for future generations to come, God's landscaping and all of its wildlife, I am so humbled to do that and share all of this with all of you.